So this will be a quick video about um, getting the MCHF um, SDR transceiver working with HD SDR software. Um, and basically what that will allow you to do is to interact with the radio via a PC. It's very convenient. Um, it's quite easy to do. There's, some, there's just some little tweaking in the configuration at the end um, that can be quite difficult to resolve. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. I've already plugged it, plugged the radio into um, the PC uh, using a USB cable. Um, and on the radio, it's the small USB plug. So on mine, it's labeled DFU. Uh, there's no drivers needed um, because the radio uses standard drivers. So what the radio does is when you plug it into the USB, it presents itself as a microphone, a speaker and a COM port. OK, so um, the COM port is nothing complicated. It's just a... Um, it's just a way to communicate with uh, with devices over serial, um, and by presenting its the radio presenting itself as a microphone and speakers makes it really easy to send signals to and from the radio. So I've just opened Device Manager here just to check that it's all um, um, that it's all connected correctly. So if I go to Sound, here we go. I can see. MCHF and if I go to ports then this is the port that's just appeared as I've plugged the radio in it's COM port 3 it might be named differently on your PC because I'm using a virtual windows here um, for this video I think on my real PC it came up as a prolific device um, if you're not sure which COM port is the radio because you will need the number for later it's it's not going to be COM port 1 um, and if you've got multiple COM ports then unfortunately you'll either have to see which one appears when you plug the radio in or you're just going to have to try them all okay um, I'm also just going to open up the system sounds panel in Windows just to verify that the radio is definitely visible here. So I can see there I've got MCHF available as um, a speaker and both as a microphone. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is install HD SDR This is a virtual window so it's quite slow Right So here we've got the HD SDR homepage. I'm just going to hit download and I'll run the installer. Okay, that was quick. We'll launch HDSDR. Okay, HDSDR. We have to tell it 
which microphone the speakers to use. So what I've done is I just hit sound card here and we want to take MCHF as the microphone but we want the audio from HD SDR to go to our speakers. Okay. Um, as you can see here the waterfall is completely wrong but this is to be expected. What's happening at the moment is the radio is sending the, its speaker output here through to HD SDR and I can verify that by just switching through the bands and seeing how the noise changes. Okay so the first thing that we need to do is to tell the radio to send the RF spectrum the, I believe it's called the IQ data to a HDSDR. So to set that there is a button on the radio, it's this one here called M3 and you hold that and what we want to do is we want to get DIQ EXT to appear um, to appear on the radio. And I'll just show you where that should be. So it should be here, DIQ EXT. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that on my radio. Okay, so I had to hold the M3 button a few times there as it went through various settings, but eventually I got to the setting where I got DIQ EXT to appear. And what we can now see is that the radio, sorry, is that HD SDR is showing the proper RF spectrum. Um, the next thing we want to do is to get HD SDR and the radio in sync with each other so that as we tune here in the software the radio tunes as well or as we tune in the radio so that the software here tunes as well. So to do that we go to Options and CAT to Radio Omni Rig. So CAT to Radio, CAT I believe is the protocol that um, the software uses to talk to the radio. And it piggybacks off um, a uh, piece of software called Omni Rig. Okay, so Omni Rig is a third party uh, piece of software so we need to hit Setup and we get a little message here saying that it's not installed so we just click and install on new rig. Okay this time we have to save it because it's a zip file. Opening the downloads folder, then right click to extract this zip file. And I'm going to double click on the executable. We don't need to launch on the rig, so I'm going to untick that. 
The reason we don't launch it is that HDSDR all handle Omni Rig, so we don't actually have to do anything directly in Omni Rig itself. Okay, and we are done. Then we go back to um, HDSDR. An error message comes up, that's fine, because we haven't set our COM port yet. Go back to options. Omni rig setup. Okay, so the difficult bit, COM port, if you recall in Device Manager we saw that it's um, that MCHF presented itself as COM port 3, so that's what we select here, and the device is FT817, give it a name. Okay, so hopefully that's set up now. We now hit sync rig one and hopefully our radio will start syncing. And it is now. So what's happening is I'm now scrolling on my radio and we can see that the software is now is also tuning uh, and vice versa. If I click around here on the tune frequency then it will change accordingly on the radio. The next bit is the tricky bit that uh, got me stuck for for half the day um, and it's setting the offset. So within the radio is a setting called RXTX frequency X late and the um, the radio wiki recommends to setting that to minus 12 kilohertz so that's what mine is set for yours might be different so you may have to tweak uh, there's also a setting here called cat's diq frequency x lat and that needs to be set to on um, as a radio is set to an offset of minus 12 hd sdr needs to be set to a setting of plus 12. So I'm going to go to Options, RF Front End Configuration, and here in Global, global Offset, I enter 12 kilohertz. In CW, I enter 750. You probably need to set CWL as well. Um, I'll let you figure that bit out yourself, because I haven't figured that out. But this, this should work. Um, so we're going to hit apply now. Oops, we need to also select this uh, radio box here to enable these here settings. Let's hit apply. So now what we see here in our waterfall should be exactly what we see in the radio. So that offset that we've just set here in HDSDR basically offsets the, the offset that's in the radio. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so just to verify that everything is good, I'm just going to, all I did was I hit T to get this pop-up box. I'm going to tune to um, 4996. Uh, and here we can see a time signal. And I'm looking at my radio and I can see that exact time signal on the radio display. If I was to now get my audio working on this machine, I would hear exactly what is playing through the radio. Um, so that's pretty much it. Everything is in sync. Um, you can also set up TX. It's not difficult. You just simply enable it. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, my radio has only just been um, just been 
put together so I don't have any of BTX configuration set to be able to show you.